Legends. Got a little something we want to talk to y'all about. We're doing our series right now, and in the course of doing our series, we want to make sure we bring you guys the most up-to-date information. We're going to talk about things nobody else is talking about. However, as is the case, you're going to start hearing people talk about it because they're going to start to realize what's really going on. So, without any further ado, adieu, my do, and badu, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation at present is the following. Many people don't realize what their rights are. Remember, the deed of trust is what you wrote, those of you who have properties. The deed of trust is what you wrote. Start looking at your deed of trust, ladies and gentlemen, finding out what you agreed to and what you didn't agree to. Start looking at your deed of trust. Find out what's in the agreement. Don't look at everything you're required to do. Look at everything the lender is required to do. Look at all the rights you left for yourself. Remember, a contract must be fair, equal to all people. This is a sample, if it'll let me show it to you, and I don't think it wants me to show it to you. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sample disclosure statement. This is going to come in very handy later, especially when you notice credit, credit, credit. That's very important, okay? It is extremely important that you pay attention to that word. That word is pivotal to the entire conversation that we're having. So I definitely need you all to pay attention to that conversation when it comes, because the information there is going to be, what it was the word? pivotal. Let's go ahead and talk about your equity rights. Now, the reason why these are highlighted, the entire thing, is because I've created a document. It will be in the same folder, and I think we're just going to call this the foreclosure series folder, and it'll be inside the mortgage document folder. So let's go ahead and do that now so that you guys will know where everything is. It will not be up now. It will be up later, ladies and gentlemen. Create a directory and enter it. That's what I want. And we're going to call this the Okay, so it's the foreclosure series doc. Okay. That's what this is. And so that's what we're going to be dealing with right now. I want you all to pay attention. The noise you're hearing in the background is my phone starting up. I had to restart it. And so that's what you guys are hearing in the background. We are about to go back and play my music because many of you have come to understand I don't do anything for the most part without music. There's music going on someplace. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the documents. I said they were going to be up later. Well, all of the documents we are going to put up that we've done so far you guys will have access to them now before the video is even up they will be added to this online directory so it's under number eight i got to get rid of this one this is the delete yeah, that one is of no consequence you guys don't need that one all right It'll be under number eight, mortgage complaint and case law. Foreclosure series documents is the folder these items will be in. Now, that entire folder, I would suggest you all download. I'm going to have to turn down. I told you my music was coming. You guys have heard me play Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones. And Mr. Counting Crows, ladies and gentlemen, I just want all of you to know that I promise you the information is very important. So all of the documents are here thus far, and we have several more, including the sample short form deed of trust and the long form deed of trust. 
okay so you'll have those documents that's done I was gonna do it much later but might as well do it now now let's talk about equitable redemption does anybody know what equitable redemption is raise your hands I can't see your hands nobody wants to raise it. okay well fine I'll explain ladies and gentlemen equitable redemption you have equity in your property but we're not talking about that equity the one where you borrow against the equity in your property we're not talking about that equity that equity and this equity have nothing to do with each other that is an equity in the value of the property okay we are not dealing with that that equity we're not dealing with that value we are talking about the equitable interest in your property that's right you have a right to sell your equitable interest don't worry about what does equitable interest mean just know that you have it okay you have equitable interest and as we've talked to you guys about many times you have the right to sell your equitable interest to whoever you want so basically you don't just sell this to a stranger and you don't sell this to a money grabber because basically they can take over your home you want to sell your equity to somebody you trust somebody who loves you you love them we we belong together we've been together for 80 years and you know we know each other and we haven't no i'm gonna sell them my equity okay and here give me ten dollars okay yeah i know you're just gonna give me ten dollars and then we're gonna work out an agreement where if you get the property i get to live in it and i don't have to owe you no money you just get to be the the property owner on title okay that's our agreement all right thank you for the ten dollars so i'm gonna put it here in my brazier you know like we do as old women you know yeah i know what old women do my mama used to do it too so shut up ladies and gentlemen that's your equity you have the right to sell that equity there are tons of cases such as the cases that are here ladies and gentlemen as you saw the equitable memorandum case text site there this is memorandum of judicial opinions. The reason why you have these judicial opinions is so you can show them, I'm not out of my mind. This is not gobbledygook. This is not no sovereign movement junk. Mother, this is your stupid decisions. Look, memorandum of decisions, memorandum of decisions. I just started calling it that. I call a memorandum of opinions, but they are not law. So it's not memorandum of law contains findings of fact and conclusions of law as required by the bankruptcy code ladies and gentlemen i cannot tell you why i started wording things that way i want you to understand this is from a court this is not from me pay attention judgment should be entered in favor of the plaintiff why because the search was plaintiff is entitled to equitable redemption i only want the positive cases i don't want all that junk so that's what I'm searching for. Judgment should be entered in favor of the plaintiff against the defendants, decreeing that the plaintiffs are entitled to redeem the property under principles of equitable redemption. Go and learn what equitable redemption is, ladies and gentlemen. Learn what equitable redemption is. The QWR is a QWR equitable agreement. So let me show it to you so because some of y'all may not believe me. QWR, equitable QWR. It already has the equitable redemption written into the document, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? All you got to do is the person you trust that you love. Don't call me that somebody you gave it to somebody who's a shyster or you gave it to one of them idiots that you paid online you went and saw their video and you paid them and they took your home away from you don't call me you only do equitable redemption rights with somebody you love they love you they not gonna get over on you hey y'all go together like peas in a pot that's who you do it with you don't do it with nobody else nobody whom gonna get mad at you and then gonna sit up there and shank you five seconds later that's not how you do this, ladies and gentlemen. You don't do it with a stranger. You don't do it with a stranger. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
In my opinion, the plaintiff has a right to redeem the property upon equitable principles. Nothing exists to bar this right. There is nothing to stop you from equitable redemption. Now, the way equitable redemption works, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have to make an offer to pay off the loan. That's what we showed you in the last video. Your deed of trust, if you take a look at the deed of trust, it gives you the right to redeem your property. Okay, we're going to scroll up a little bit. Is it this one? Yes, yeah, it's, it's in this section. Not reconveyance, but it's where you get the right to reclaim the property. It's going to be the next page. At least I think it's this page. Let's see. One more. Nope. Okay, this is it right here. You have the right to redeem your property by paying the lender all sums. So now you need to know the total amount that's due. But they can't just give you some statement saying this is due. Oh, no, uh -uh, I want the total sums because I don't want y'all coming back at me saying this was we left this out. We forgot you owe this. No, I want total and I want an itemized and or comprehensive accounting so that I can validate and verify these numbers. You could be telling me any number is due only to find out later that you lied to me and I'm paying thousands of dollars I shouldn't have to pay. And then I got to sit up here and hire an attorney? No, you're going to give me the exact figure that's due and you're going to do that through verification. You're going to do that under declaration. You have the right to do that because you're curing a default. Okay, pay attention. All expenses, fees, you want everything, but you don't want a statement. You want a verified statement because the courts have already highlighted this is a debt. Okay. Now it says, however, this right uh, to reinstate shall not apply in the case of acceleration under Section 18. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. We don't. We're not concerned about the right to reinstate. We are concerned about the right that you have in the contract to receive all sums and a complete understanding between the parties that you have a right to know what those sums and figures are. Okay? That's what's going on here. Let's go back here. That where they were entitled to notice from the company of the contract of sale before it's consummation in order to or excuse me that they might if they choose to do so pay up the amount due on the mortgage and keep the property ladies and gentlemen you guys this is your right it's called an equitable redemption right now not every state is an equitable redemption state which is why we did the statutory redemption video showing how your contract deed of trust already have that language written into the deed of trust. If you li live in a state that only have trust deeds, check the language of your trust deeds. This language that we're showing you should be universal in all these wonderful documents. Okay, let's continue. We're going to go to the next one. There is both a statutory and equitable right of redemption. Remember, the statutory right of redemption is in the contract. The equitable right of redemption is in the contract. It's called equity of redemption, ladies and gentlemen, which enables the mortgager to redeem his property after he has defaulted. You all have that right to pay off the property after it's accelerated. Okay, now pay attention. Out of its $107,000-odd to buy the property, the fault was not theirs, but their lawyer. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We don't care whose fault it is. We don't want odd dollars. We want the exact amount that's due. The deadline for statutory redemption is the latter of three months after foreclosure judgment and seven months after the mortgager submits to the jurisdiction of the court. Seven months after the mortgager submits to the jurisdiction of the court. Lord have mercy. That's Illinois, uh, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the right to equitable redemption 
is your right. You can save your house if you are facing foreclosure. You just have to get started on the process. Go to the Eon channel, type in Equitable Redemption. Watch the videos, follow the information, look up the case laws. If your house is worth $80,000 and you take the time to watch the videos and follow the information and you gain your house, then you got paid $80,000 to watch my videos and do a little bit of research. If your house is worth $300,000 and you watch the videos, did a little bit of research and you gained your house, then you got paid $300,000 to watch some videos and you also got a place to live. So you're going to have to do the research. I don't care if you don't like the music. I don't care if you don't like the antics. Nobody's paying me to do this. This is my time we're on. I'm not on your time. I'm not asking you your permission to do the videos. I'm putting these up on my channel for free. And I'm not asking you for a dime. Go look underneath the site. We don't accept donations no more. One person just sent in a $10 donation. And it would cost me, Lord have mercy, too much to send that back to them. Because my bank charges me every time I reverse a payment. Okay, I get charged for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have another two videos to do. Said we were going to do three, but we have some more information to give you. This is a culmination of information. We have at least six videos to do total after this. So we have these three plus six more. So y'all need to pay attention because I promise you the culmination of this information is going to be more than worth it. Thank you very much, y'all. Have a good day.